foster is a situation in which someone temporarily takes care of an animal who needs a home, preparing it so it can get a forever home. It helps with behavioral and medical problems. Organizations foster to be able to save more animals than the shelter capacity allows. Some animals need care around the clock and it helps individual animals' needs. As for the animal, it'll need to get used to an environment which is not as stressful as the shelter and the animal may need special training such as house manners, socialization, etc. The foster family must have a foster parent at least 18 years of age, but any other family members, even young ones, are encouraged to help foster. The family, over everything else, should be wanting to care for animals. Seattle Humane will match people appropriately with pets. I interviewed Lisa Dennison, a current foster at Alley Cat Project and has been fostering for 12 years and loves knowing that she's saving lives. Her favorite foster case was when she had two moms, most likely sisters, and had to figure out which kitten was whose. However, since the moms helped each other out and took care of each other's kittens, she decided it was better not to separate them. She also mentioned it's hard to say goodbye, but she keeps in touch with the families who adopted them. Foster failures are situations where a foster parent decides to adopt the foster pet, so they aren't really failures. Foster parent Kelly Bulima has been fostering since 2008 and has had many foster fails. She fostered both dogs and cats, but her dog, Busy, didn't like other dogs, so now Kelly only fosters cats. The others were 50 Cent, Snug Life, Slater Kitty, later known as Lil Sweet. Lil Sweet had been astray with seizures and was in bad condition, but after seeing Seattle Humane and having round-the-clock medicine, she was fine. Kelly's favorite part about fostering kittens is making them feel loved, which is why she likes spicy kittens. Thank you for listening to my presentation. 